So we can actually bring those what ifs to the classroom, to the screen for them to see. The Advanced Visualization Center at the University of South Florida is ready for interactivity. Guests at the unveiling had the chance to get a 3D view at some of the highlights of current projects on a demo video. The facility provides an opportunity to engage USF students and faculty in the numerous visualization techniques that the video wall displays in stunning 20 megapixel clarity. The real big thing that sets us apart is that it's totally interactive. Uh, the way we've built it, you can use mobile devices, you can uh, use wireless devices to power it, uh, so that way you can actually have a more immersive experience than just viewing videos or images. You can actually interact with your data. So they can come to us with any of their data needs and we can help them look through it and kind of gain new insights into what might be there. We've looked at uh, Mayan monuments through 3D scans. Uh, we've looked at CT scan data and been able to visualize uh, some of that anatomy uh, in 3D. Uh, but we can also visualize 2D data as well. We can do network visualization, statistics, analytics. The Advanced Visualization Center is designed to help students and faculty take their research data to the next level, offering new insights and perspective. This is open to all departments. Um, they may not know it yet, but there's probably a need for it. Um, for example, we're going to be conducting arts classes in here for digital video. Uh, again, we're going to be doing history classes in here, uh, anthropology. The biggest highlight is being able to uh, help students with their data uh, and see their reaction when they've done all this work and research and now they have something uh, almost physical that they can interact with. Uh, not only on this large screen, but they can take it with them to use on their website or to use in their research papers. And I think that's a, a huge benefit. One of many benefits yet to be seen. For USF News, I'm Katie Hennig.